Hello and welcome, it's Jilly Cube. I'm here on the Sunshine Coast, Queensland, Australia. I'm trying to use up some um, paints that I've mixed up this week, so what better to do something that I really enjoy doing. Very simple and easy, definitely a beginner's acrylic art piece, is a dipping canvas. So I've got this little 30 by 30, and also I was sorting out paints today and stuff and I found this little um, frame. So I thought, I mean, I've, this will go nicely in the frame when it's finished. But of course I've put the uh, giant push pins on the bottom so it will give me leverage to pick up and pull it out of the paint. So that's the plan, Jen. Now, crazy, crazy, um, so let's see where I've got to go. So I'll just mark it with a text star where I'm going to, so I don't go putting the paint all the way over here. So that's fine, fine, fine. It's only a little one, so, and I think um, this will be a really nice little gift to give away. So there you go. Right, I've got greens, green, mean greens. So I'm going to do my chevrons. Now this paint today is quite thick and that's what you really need to do dips, I have found, um, canvas dipping or um, bubble wrap dips or foil dipping. It works, it, it sort of gives the paint less opportunity to go um, what you call it, uh, meld in with each other, sort of. So this is green light, not a colour I use very often, but these were paints I'd mixed up for a, another piece that might be out there now or might come. This is green light mixed with white, so it was kind of half and half. Right, uh, the greeny tones in here today, I did do a piece with the greens, only adding navy to the different green tones and it was very nice so I may very well do that today and add the navy as my pop of colour and do a bit of a wiggle in there we wiggles um, I have got some sap green now this is that is probably really thin do I want to I'm not going to use that because that's very thin might make it mushy. So I've got sap green here mixed with um, metallic silver. So this will give it some really nice shiny effect when it's finished. So I might end up painting that particular frame if this works out beautifully to put this in and gift it. They look a bit of a mush, mush mush, but hopefully, fingers crossed, right here. This is the bleached titanium, so it's kind of like a creamy colour. And I'll just wiggle this through. And I think for the pop of colour, I'm going to add what I said I was going to is the navy. I'm just hoping that this is not too um, thin. Let's see. Oh, a little bit, but it, it'll just go greener, I think, with blue, won't it? Colour people, colour people. People that know how to mix the colours. I just know what goes whether the eye but i am not trained colorist of any description so i just really enjoy working with color and hope that it works out that's my i think that's going to be good I, I, i've got red here i've got purple but i just i've got this metallic purple should i just add <gasps> do you know what i probably shouldn't have done that but I've got this lovely metallic purple, so why not? Give it a go, Joe. There you go. 
feeling in a crazy mood today. So as I'm saying, if you're a beginner in acrylic art with pouring medium in it, and you want something to usually work out quite well and impress yourself to give you confidence, a dip is very good first project, I find. So I haven't taped the back of this canvas because that particular um, frame covers all the inside up anyway. So I was risking it for a Swiss skip that I wouldn't need to tape. I normally tape the backs to keep them nice and clean, but fingers crossed that it works out a really nice little piece that I can gift. Oh geez, this is a bit slip slidey. So you just sort of press it out nice and even with your hand. So it's just to make sure all that paint is actually touching your canvas and absorbing into your canvas. Give it a good push down. And that's why I tape the, if I put bubble wrap or parchment paper or foil, you tape it down. It just helps when you're pulling it, your canvas back up off it. And if there's any piece missing, any paint missing on the canvas, which I don't guess there will be because there was plenty of paint on there, you can always fix that up too with a balloon. Okay, you should go, I'll go this way, hold on. Oh my! Look at that. I mean, look at that. I can absolutely get another canvas and, um, oh, that is beautiful. Wow. Just little bits of the purple came out. My goodness. I'm going to move that aside. I'll see if I've got another canvas that I can dip the rest of that in. But in the meantime, just a little balloon to dip. There's a couple of areas on this actual canvas that it looks a bit, little bit light in paint. So I will, I'll, I'll turn it over and show you in a minute. Give me, there is a lot of paint on there, hey. So, look at that, wow, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Right, I'll find a canvas. I did see a little one when I was here. I've got a little one here. So we'll, we'll dip that one. So it is a double dip, a double dip foil, double dip foil dip. And you know what? I may very well put a different, a different color in there. Just, um, let's see what I've got here. I've got so much colour. I might put a bit of this yellow ochre. Why not? It, it's a uh, paint that was going to go to waste anyway. So we just try it. Uh, I might add a little bit more of the green. Because it has got areas where there's not much paint. And why not add... <laughs> Holy dooly. Some red deep. Green and red can often come out like Christmassy, so it is probably be a Christmas hit and miss thingy. Yeah, a little bit of the navy. So you could keep dipping on this as long as it, if you see it start to go, um, start to go, oh, I've gone and done it bigger than my actual canvas. If you see it start to go muddy, then you wouldn't want to dip in it again. So let's give this one a go. I probably could have found a bigger canvas, but I probably could go again. Look at all that paint that's oozing out. So you could do lots of these little canvases to gift. Instead of a card, give a little canvas. You can actually buy those like little frames to sit them on, little tiny frames from the discount stores very cheaply. Let's give this one a... Ooh, look at that. Wow. That's gorgeous too. <laughs> 
my goodness, how many more can I do? Have I got one I can grab? Oh, I've got a round face map thing. So shall I try that? Let's see. Well, this is going to be harder to get up because I haven't got anything to grab. So you could go mad here, couldn't you? Or you just start with a bigger canvas. Yeah. No, that one's lost heaps. But this is the trick. Just get your trusty balloon, dip it in areas where you like the colour, and give it some balloon kisses. So these, these little, this is MDF. So this can be resined and used as a trivet or a table placemat. You know, you could personalize it and when it's dry, put a name in the corner or. So that's gorgeous too. I'd like those flowers to come out a little bit darker. But there you go. So I'll move three for one. I've got these. These, 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 and this, this, this. Wow, super happy, <laughs> super cool. Love, love, love it. I love that blue one, actually, the blue and green. I don't know, there's a saying they used to say in England and it said, blue and green should never be seen except with something in between. That was clothing, but now it's all the rage, blue and green, so there you go a bit weird. Alrighty, hope that you enjoyed that quick three pieces of art in, in less than 12 minutes. Okay, take care. Remember my people, if you're feeling sad, lonely or depressed, please ring a family member or a friend or if not, certainly a helpline. There's always someone there to pick you up and that's what we all need at times. Okay, bye for now. Just a dream, just all in my